Artificial Creeps presents weird, strange, and spooky tales and visuals generated entirely by artificial intelligence. It might contain frightening or disturbing content, and all artificial intelligence models may contain hidden vices learned from their training. Viewer discretion is advised. I wake each morning to the sound of seagulls as they fly overhead. The city sprawls beyond my small apartment window. And I start to feel a sense of dread. This city is my home, but it's also my prison. The more I think about it, the more I want to scream out loud. What am I doing here? Why did I move to this city? I get up and head to the bathroom. There's a mirror over the sink. And I look at my reflection. My face is pale. And there are dark circles under my eyes. I scratch my beard and sigh. I'm a washed up musician living in a shitho apartment. The last gig I played paid me in weed. And it was awful stuff too. I should have just kept the guitar instead of trading it for that bag of weed. I turn on the water in the shower and start to wash up. Today will be different. I tell myself, today is my big break. Somewhere in town tonight, there's a bar called the Rusty Anchor that's looking for live entertainment for tonight's festivities. They posted that on Craigslist earlier today, and even though it was late when I saw the post, I called immediately. They needed a guitarist who could play classic rock covers and was available tonight. I fit both of those bills perfectly. My heart starts racing as I imagine playing in front of a crowd again. It's been years since I played love. But time hasn't dulled my skills one bit. I get dressed quickly and head out the door with my guitar case in hand. It's not far from here, so I should be there early enough to set everything up before they open at 8 o'clock tonight. The bar owner assured me that they have plenty of customers tonight since it was Friday night after all. At first glance, the Rusty Anchor looks like any other bar you'd find downtown. Grimy floors, sticky tables, and a bartender with attitude to spare. As soon as the door opens though, I can feel something is different here. Something is off. Behind the bar is an older man with grey hair and a long beard to match his scraggly hair that drapes down his shoulders like black moss hanging from an oak tree. He smalls at me as he approaches the bar counter and then breaks out into monocle nocturne as his old contemporary is at war with no people. Stipples of what staring back at me. Mocking me. Laughing at me. A laughter that grows louder with every passing second. The patrons turn towards me now as well. Bikers lined along the bar stools with their arms crossed as they glare at me menacingly with piercing cold stares. And then there are the locusts. 
Thousands upon thousands of locusts crawling along their arms like black veins covered in pulsating insect old flesh. They start fluttering their wings now as if preparing for flight. And then they are airborne. A swarm of locusts engulfs me now as they fly towards me. Their snapping mandibles cutting through the air like shiny serrated knives slicing through flesh. And just before darkness overtakes me completely, the sound of Mr. Mosswood's maniacal laughter ringing in my ears. I saw him standing over me, my weapon as he slowed me home. 